Certain designers seem to draw me in more than others. Jeff Blavelt, aka Tough Knives, Ray Laconico, and Todd Knife and Tool immediately spring to mind. Not to mention Joe, Joe Vero, and John of EMP EDC. And uh, up there near the tippy top of the list is Dylan Mallory. He's not exactly the new kid on the block, but at the same time, he hasn't exactly been around for ages either. Here are some of Mallory's designs that you may recognize. And this, this is one of his latest, the Hadros, a wallet-friendly warning made by the fine folks at Civivi. This thing, visually speaking, checks a whole lot of boxes for me. First off, let's get it out of the way, that warning, I mean, come on, that is just a textbook warning, and I am all about it. The scales sit atop some stainless steel liners, as is usually the case with Civivi knives, and the scales themselves are made of micarta in this case, and they look nice, especially for the price point. The handles are very thin, but again, since we are just talking about the styling at the moment, they look really clean and classy to my eyes. And going back to that beautiful satin finish warning, the blade steel on this little beauty is something new to me. A long forgotten Sandvik steel, 10CR 15MOV. Sitting somewhere between 9CR and 12CR, I would assume. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. Overall, the styling here screams Mallory, and that really just means I love it. Tip to tail, the profile of this little slicer is just a perfect pairing of cleanliness and aggressiveness without coming off as too scary too tactical. The pocket clip is the usual fare from Civivi as well, a simple yet insanely functional deep carry stainless steel pocket clip, and that clip works just flawlessly. They usually do for me. All in all, I love the looks, I love the lines, all good stuff aesthetically, top to bottom. Moving on to the ergos, and those beautifully elegant skinny micarta clad handles start to become an issue. For me personally, I don't have too many troubles finding a comfortable grip on this piece, but anyone with bigger mitts than me might find themselves begging for more surface area on this one. It can feel a bit awkward getting everything set just right to actuate it or line up for a cut, but once you get locked in, you are locked in good and secure. Or, well, at least I am. Again, I have thin, bony child hands, so your experience may very. So as much as I love the, the kind of sleek and slim appearance, I think the knife could be improved with just a little bit more meat and girth on those handles. Overall, solid ergos, but nothing incredible. Now, much like the handles, the blade isn't exactly a tall piece of steel, but sweet mother of Jehovah is this thing made to perform. It's no secret that I'm a full-blown Warney addict. I love them, and this one is a damn good one. The blade steel is new to me, like I said, 10CR 15 MOV, and so far, over the past month or so, I have been thoroughly impressed by the performance of this blade steel, and I really hope to see more of it in the future. And the only thing better than a good warning is one with a really tasty hollow grind. And in this case, that hollow grind gives us an insanely thin and uber slicey final cutting edge. I just, I can't stop and I won't stop destroying cardboard boxes and eating up junk mail with this thing. A blade that is meant to do one thing and one thing exceptionally well. Cut. A plus on the blade. And finally, the action. Well, this is a Civivi, so the blade is running on cage bearings, and they're good and smooth for the most part. The thumb studs are easy to get a hold of from either side of the knife, and the detent is nice and dialed in for some seriously snappy thumb flicks and reverse flicks. And when you go to close it, even though the liner lock is a little aggressive as far as jumping goes, and access isn't the best, once you kick it out of the way, those bearings bring that thin, light, and slicey little warning home with some impressive grace and elegance. Not a guillotine, not super drop shutty, but nice and smooth, nice and controlled. Overall, start to finish, the action here is just dynamite, and I'm a big fan overall. So where does all of this leave me with the Civivi Hadros designed by Dylan Mallory in my card and 10CR 15 MOV? Well, for under $60, there is a lot to love. A lot to love. We get that price point, pair that with the stunningly good looks and overall warnilicious aesthetics, and with the excitement of a new and fresh and exciting steel with the 10CR, I see an insane amount of value and a whole hell of a lot to love. Build quality and overall fit and finish are seriously impressive, which is nothing new coming from Civivi, and overall, top to bottom, I'm just a big fan of this piece. Dylan Mallory, it seems, can still do no wrong. So until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.